here you can see SRAM SRAM stands for static random access memory now here you can see a structure I have made to not get connected uh, back to back in this fashion we have seen this before as well if you will connect odd number of inverters it will make a, a stable uh, multi vibrator and this is bi stable multi vibrator this is this and not get is dash this not get is double dash and you are having connected in this so if you will give one here you will get zero here again you will get one here it will be passed to one zero one zero one and if you will give zero input you will have zero one zero like this it will be in stable state you can represent this circuit in the similar fashion like this okay so dash is uh, dash not get is this double dash not get is this the output of one is given as the input to other the output of other is given to the input of the first right you can see so this is how or more neatly if i'll make this is how it will look this is your dash not get this is double dash not get right so just i'm taking the crisscross type of thing you had in flip-flop right uh, but in device level we are making some modifications and we are still following that crisscross connection but in this fashion you can see right so i'll take this circuit and i'll put here i used to nmos transistor whose inputs are connected to word line and this side is connected to bl bit line and bit line bar you can see and most who which one is source and which one is drain it doesn't matter because these two guys are working in pass transistor logic okay so if this word lines will be high this point will be connected to this point and this point is connected to this point that's all you have to know okay that's why the source drains are not given to you if these guys are low wl means it will act as an open switch and it will not get connected to bl bar or bl this is bit line this is word line this is bit bar bit line bar okay what does it indicate you can see this is a one sram cell this is the circuit okay one sram cell cell means one block it is representing for example you have a ram like this right you have two bits store and four locations are there so each row is telling you a location address location and each column is telling you bit right so you can imagine one row and one column cell as this this whole thing okay let's say this is zero zero this is zero one one zero one one this is uh, uh, let's say c1 c2 and you are accessing zero one c2 and you are having this circuit and it is storing either logic one or logic zero it is only storing one one sram cell means like one bit sram cell it is storing only one bit how it is storing i will tell you but this you should be able to visualize in this fashion these guys zero 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 one one zero one one these are word lines okay at a time only word line will be selected rest of them will be off okay you will apply high to these word line means you are applying high to this row meanwhile rest of the rows will be having logic zero there okay so at a time only one row will get selected and by choosing the bit lines bit lines of these guys only you are choosing that's how you are choosing this cell okay imagine this type of cell uh, is the this type of circuit other in other locations as well each of them are storing logic one or logic zero hopefully it is being clear to you right so this all modification i did and this is the main circuit now okay we will replace this not gates this is called 4t srm cell four transistors one two three four you can think of that's how you can think of there is something called 6t transistor where you will replace this not gates with cmos inverters okay why cmos cmos is good right uh, compare we have seen in the logic families it provides lot of uh, advantages so uh, i'll replace these guys with inverters and i will show you the working as well so let me show you the working now here you can see the working now so this is the circuit to you now how this will work let's say you want to store some data right one bit you have to store what you will do is you 
put logic high at word align this will on this nmos transistors means whatever the data you will put in bl and bl bar that will come here at this position and this position let's say ble you are keeping as one bit line is one so this here you will have one and from this side you have zero right so you can see that one is stored or you can say uh, its inversion zero is stored within here okay that's how you store the data so what you have stored bit one you have stored at the same time you have bit zero as well so uh, you have stored both the bits right uh, in a way but um, uh, whichever you want you can take it out right when you are reading it imagine that one and zero are present here means let's say one you have to you have stored so it's inverted version zero is available here as soon as you put wl is equal to one which is logic high this one will appear here and this zero will appear here that's how you read it okay so you can see how the it is working right one cell is working if you have to put the data inside you have to put in the bl and bl bar you switch on these nmos and the data will go inside and it will stay here okay it will stay locked here and that's why it consumes more power because uh, the data has to be kept here and it is a uh, volatile memory right so you need to give power all the time to save the bit and also uh, you will see that it is a random in nature because if you will see the grid if you have to look uh, access this position you have to access this row and this column right if you have to access this position let's say then you have to access this row and this column so it is random in in that fashion you can access any location uh, uh, randomly and it is static because it is keeping the data permanently permanently means as as far as you are not switching off or you are not changing the data that's how it is storing here and so by using a by stable uh, multi vibrator you are able to make a storing device or a storing element in 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 device level okay so data goes inside when uh, when you have to uh, put a data inside this cell uh, by the same method you can take the data out as well right so this is the way it is working now i'm i'm going to change this inverters into into cmos inverters so that you will get the final circuit Okay. now here you can see the final circuit so i have replaced the inverters uh, or not gate with uh, cmos inverters you can see this is your first inverter this is another inverter the output of one is given to the input of other here also output of one is given as the input to other right so this constitutes the uh, this circuit right this this whole thing is replaced by these guys rest everything is same and mos is same wl is same bl bl bar so this is using six transistors okay six transistor was one two three four five six right so this is the sram cell and you have different types of sram cells uh, as te technology advanced uh, there are uh, two three types of srams uh, you you can also find sram with by cmos which means cmos with by bjt transistors just you will have so that you will have much better um, uh, propagation delay so those things you can uh, study on your own i don't want to go into the depth just wanted to give you a feel of sram how it looks you you use this in in cache memory okay now uh, i'll write some few points about sram and then i'll move to dram okay so here i've written some points regarding sram so sram stands for static random access memory static means it is storing that data and it is keeping it static means like permanently storing that data as far as you are not switching off the ram or you are not changing the data it will keep as it is and that's why it needs more power uh, it has to stay on so that the data is, is will stay there at at the by cmos part right low density it has low density let's say you have uh, this much space in this you can have uh, if four DRAMs then you can have only one SRAM okay that's why it has a low density means like uh, the because of six transistors no uh, they are taking a lot of space for a single cell 
uh, whereas in DRAM you will not have this kind of scenario so that's why it is low dense as compared to DRAM now it is fast access time is 5 to 50 nanoseconds so this uh, this is uh, uh, advantage of SRAM you are using CMOS and all that's why it is fast and it is used in cache memories then uh, you it is a volatile type of memory you are already aware of volatile means uh, as you switch off the power uh, the data will be lost uh, no refreshing is required because your data does not uh, degrade when you you have stored it in DRAM what happens when you once you store the data the data starts degrading because it is uh, stored in the form of capacitor voltage and capacitor leaks out voltage that's why their periodic refreshing is required but here there is no such requirement okay it will stay here uh, uh, logic one or logic zero in that by cmos part and then it is used in cache memory already told you and it is an expensive uh, memory okay uh, even a uh, 8 mb 9 mb or uh, 16 mb uh, sram will be very much costlier okay because of the fast speed the access time is very very less and that's why um, it is costly okay so these all things are for about sram and now the similar type of structure i will tell you about dram as well so that you will get a basic idea and imagine that dram also are of three four types depending upon the temp uh, technology being improved i'll give you just a basic version okay and i'll show you some properties regarding that Okay, just a quick note point here uh, some of you might think how to make a 4t model of sram means with using four transistor so instead of using cmos you can have inverters made from nmos only right we have seen that before as well so this black part you can see this is your inverter vdd r nmos is there input output similarly the second not not gate this here it is right so resistance vdd nmos and ground so the output of uh, output of this guy is connected to the input of the other this line and the output of second guy is connected to the input of other right this one so this is your first this is your second so this is the uh, by stable part and then nmos are as it is a bit line bit bar line right so uh, that's how you can make sram using 40 you have 40 model you have 60 model also uh, that's where you use CMOS inverter and why you are using mostly NMOS only because NMOS has uh, uh, electrons right NMOS has electrons as carriers whereas PMOS has holes as carriers right so usually what happens electrons mobility is greater than holes mobility and that's why we prefer NMOS because it is faster mobility of electron is more and this is typically what happens and NMOS mobility is more hence we use it uh, in our circuit mostly designing uh, and with NMOS uh, and uh, that's why it is fast means its switching will be faster than PMOS so that's the reason mostly you will see NMOS designing from NMOS only okay